Cascode amplifiers are multi-stage amplifiers with uh, two stages. They have two versions, widget version, cut version. In widget version, first stage is CE and second one is CB. In FET version, first stage is CS, second one is CG. To understand the functioning of cascode amplifiers, we need to consider CE or CS configuration. CE or CS, they exhibit all good features their gains are high, their impedances are uh, also reasonably good. In all aspects, their performance is more than good, except in one angle. The frequency of operation cannot be large. And hence, they cannot give larger bandwidths. These two are uh, drawbacks, serious drawbacks. Except these two, CE and CS, both give excellent performance in all aspects. Now, how to overcome? These shortcomings. How to make uh, these uh, two stages, CE and CS, useful at high frequencies and uh, achieve good bandwidths from them? The answer, the solution to this question led to an uh, amendment. The modification to CE and CS stages, it resulted in cascode pair, cascode structure. Multi-stage amplifiers, cascode pairs, series on semiconductor devices and circuits, lecture number 8.10. Cascode pairs are uh, multi-stage amplifiers. There exist two stages in the structure of uh, these amplifiers. Hence, they are called uh, pairs. They use direct coupling to connect the output of uh, first stage to the input of the Second stage, cascode pairs are available in uh, two versions, BJT version and uh, FET version. In BJT version, first stage is in CE configuration, next stage is uh, a CB amplifier. <coughs> in uh, FET configuration, first stage is in a CS configuration and the next stage is in CG configuration. The main purpose for which cascode pair pairs are conceived or designed is to have an amplifier that can provide not only good amount of gain, good amount of uh, impedances, but also higher frequencies of operation and uh, larger bandwidths. CE stage or CS stage they are able to provide higher gains, they are able to provide larger impedances, but 
because of uh, miller's capacitance they cannot work at higher frequencies they cannot provide larger bandwidths so they are associated with uh, the drawback of uh, lower frequency operation and smaller bandwidths to overcome this shortcoming this problem those stages are modified by adding another stage in case of bjt version a cb stage is connected at the output terminals of ce stage in case of fat version a cg stage is connected at the output terminals of cs when gains and impedances in the circuit are properly adjusted it results in a cascode pair which is capable of giving higher frequency of operation and larger bandwidths in addition to higher gains and uh, higher impedances with this small introduction to cascode pairs now we move to begin the course session let us uh, start the session with a question what is cascode pair cascode pair is ce modified by addition of cb this is bjt version in fet version it is cs modified by cg why is cascode pair to achieve more bandwidth and to achieve larger frequency of operation than provided by a single stage ce or cs how cascode works third question miller's capacitance is proportional to ce gain it requires to be mentioned here ce configuration only suffers with the miller's capacitance the issue of miller's capacitance other configurations cb or cc they don't suffer when it comes to fet version only cs suffers with the issue of miller's capacitance cd or cg those configurations do not have this problem miller's capacitance problem with this understanding now miller's capacitance is proportional to ce gain or cs gain which is reduced and set to 1 by adjusting the low input impedance of the following cb stage here he is describing the principle basic principle of design of cascode the last gain by ce is provided by cb in the absence or reduction of miller's capacitance now the pair can work at higher frequencies with increased bandwidth now a few statements regarding the origins of uh, cascode structure <clears throat> the word cascode is uh, a contraction of the phrase cascade to cathode it was first coined by 1939 by hunt and hickman notice cascode cascade these uh, are different terms cascode is a two stage amplifier first one is transconductance amplifier second one is a current buffer current buffer is one whose current gain is one or nearly one cb is a voltage amplifier it is a current buffer in bjt version the front one is ce and the other is cb in fet version first one is ce and the second one is cg here it requires to be mentioned the fact that in cascode we have two versions bjt version fet version but uh, 
it is contrary to darlington pair you don't have fat darlington pairs you have only bjt darlington pairs reason is that darlington pair is designed it is invented to give more input impedance required amount of input impedance in case of fets single stage fet amplifier is capable of providing more input impedance than that is required hence there is no need to go for either modification or addition or even to think about uh, increasing the input impedance of the effect single stage hence there is no pet version as far as <clears throat> darlington pair is concerned now let us move further test code so some important points key points ce amplifier modified to eliminate miller's capacitance is test code in simplest possible terms test code is ce amplifier modified to eliminate miller's capacitance this modification is addition of cb stage it is a two stage amplifier it is direct coupled amplifier stages are ce cb the connection between ce and cb is stacked in series connection basic principle is to convert input voltage into a current and then apply it to the next stage task code provides more isolation between input and output minimizing the instability notice instability due to lack of isolation between input and output is a serious problem in high frequency amplifiers task code structure provides isolation more isolation between input and output for this reason it is more suitable at a high frequency utility or use because of isolation of course instability disappears totally or partially broader bandwidth and increased high, high frequency of operation maximum frequency of operation these are the features of cascode here is shown the circuit diagram q1 q2 two stages are there this rb1 r2 r1 rc2 these are all bios biosing arrangements coupling capacitors are also there c1 c2 so the first stage is ce second stage is c b this is cb in a is shown full fledged circuit source is shown load is shown biosing arrangements are shown everything is shown in b is shown bare circuit without biosing arrangements so that complexity becomes less understanding becomes easy two pnp transistors q1 q2 q1 is a ce q2 is in cb some observations after thorough analysis it can be found input resistance and current gain can be found nominally equal to corresponding values of single ce stage input resistance current gain not much change after modification output resistance with the input open circuited is approximately equal to that of cb value equal to 2 mega which is much higher than ce value of 40k so output impedance of the pair it uh, is more than single ce stage simplified equivalent circuit can represent the cascode circuit better than a single transistor two small signal hybrid equivalent circuits are there one is 
exact equivalent circuit another is simplified equivalent circuit actual or exact equivalent circuit is associated with the four parameters whereas the simplified equivalent circuit is associated with the two so analysis is easy when we take the help of simplified equivalent circuit but it can be used only when certain conditions condition is satisfied hoe rl should be, should be less than 0.1 or 0.4 something like that rl there is a limitation on rl load here it is said that simplified equivalent circuit can be used it means analysis is not that much difficult the small value of h12 denotes good isolation between output and input thereby eliminating chances of unwanted oscillations the reverse open circuit voltage gain is very much smaller than that for a single c stage it makes a cascode useful in a tuned amplifier design where undesired oscillations are a serious problem tuned amplifiers are high frequency amplifiers radio frequency amplifiers they are used as a front end selective circuits in the design of uh, radio receivers they suffer with uh, a serious problem undesired oscillations if cascode design is implemented to make tuned amplifiers then this problem it gets solved to some extent as already mentioned Task codes have two versions. So far, mainly we are concerned with uh, BJT versions. Now, we move to MOS versions. Here is a shown in A MOS task code pair. Q1 is there, Q2 is there. Q1, one can see it is a CS, whereas Q2 is in CG. Equivalent circuit of cascode is shown in B. Its input output characteristic is shown in C. VI input voltage. This is output voltage. Two curves are shown. One is V0. Here is V0 output voltage. Here is input voltage. Here is output voltage. In addition to V0, VX is also shown. Note uh, here X is there. At this point, voltage is Vx. Vth1, Vth2, these are all threshold voltages. Threshold voltage of first transistor Q1, threshold voltage of second transistor. Vb is a kind of BIOS voltage. Now, in MOS version, the cascode structure consists of CS followed by CG, usually of same type, either PMOS or NMOS transistors. But it can be implemented either with a PMOS NMOS structure or NMOS PMOS combination. In such case, the cascode pair is called folded cascode. The reason is the small signal current is folded up or down here is a shown folded cascode a q1 q2 notice q1 and q2 are uh, of uh, opposite type q1 is pmos q2 is nmos in a in b2 Simple folded cascode is shown in A. Folded cascode with proper biasing is shown in B. In C is shown folded cascode with the NMOS input. Notice this is NMOS. Input is given at its gate terminal. Large signal characteristic of a folded cascode is shown here. Output, input. As a Input goes up, output is up to certain input voltage, output remained constant. After that, output starts falling. In B is shown currents. 
drain current of uh, transistor 1, drain current of transistor 2, ID1, ID2 versus input voltage. This is characteristic of folded cascode. Now we discuss about a property, shielding property. What is a shielding property? It refers to suppression of changes in output voltage traveling to input side. Simply, it means suppression of feedback. Changes on the on output side, they are prevented from reaching the input side. It is referred as a shielding property. Shielding means protecting, providing protection. What protection is being provided here? Input is protected from the changes that happen at the output side. Usually due to imperfect output-input isolation, the changes in the output voltage of a device travel through device and appear more or less at its input terminals. However, this unwanted transmission can be reduced or eliminated by elevating device's output impedance. The cascode exhibits a high output impedance and as a result, <coughs> output voltage changes are prevented to a large extent from reaching the input side. In a sense, the cascode transistor shields the input device from voltage variations at the output. This shielding property of cascodes proves useful in many circuits. However, Effectiveness of shielding deteriorates when the transistor enters into triode region. This aspect one has to keep in mind. Now, some points regarding applications. Cascode is used in MOS technology for building current mirrors to have an increased output impedance of the output current source. A modified version of cascode is also used as an amplitude modulator with the upper device supplying the audio signal and lower one acting as RF amplifier device. So for building current mirrors, for designing amplitude modulators, these are used. A cascode may also be combined with a voltage ladder to form a high voltage transistor. It is widely used in TV tuners and also in front-end VHF receivers. These are also used as a multiplying mixer circuit in super heterodyne receivers. These are all applications. Now, a few points regarding merits. The output resistance of cascode arrangement is very high and hence it acts very close to an ideal current source. The Cascode, in fact, combines the merits of CB, CE configurations, offering high gain, high input impedance, high bandwidth, high slew rate. The input and outputs are highly isolated, resulting in an amplifier with a higher level stability. These are merits. The parts count is very low for a two transistor circuit. When used for circuit design, cascode requires least number of components. Regarding a cascode, one or two aspects that should always be kept in mind are, one is they are capable of working at high frequencies. Simultaneously providing higher gains and higher input impedance, output impedances. They provide good amount of isolation. Therefore, problem of instability, it is solved to a great extent. They also suffer certain demerits. Cascode employs two transistors and naturally more expensive when compared to a single transistor. It requires a relatively high supply voltage. For a two-fat cascode, both transistors must be biased with ample VDS in operation, imposing a lower limit on supply voltage. It means lower supply voltages are not uh, suitable for biasing cascodes. 
the demand cash course demand higher supply voltages with this we come to an end of the session before closing down let us recollect important point an introduction has been given to cash course the description is given about uh, bjt cash codes pet cash codes their circuits their characteristics their merits demerits and their applications all are given in this session hope this session is useful to you we meet again soon in another session with a new topic Thank you.